hey everyone welcome back to my channel for the ones who have been here before and welcome to the ones who have not my name is Janae and I'm the owner of confidently you creations and I know I am so late with this upload but here we go um, <laughs> Uh, for this video, you'll find all the things that I use down in the description box, and you'll also find some discount codes for the glitter and also for the epoxy that I use. I have a discount code for that now for you guys. Um, and for the vinyl, I will also link that down in the description box that is now available on our website for purchase. This was one of the tumblers made for Valentine's Day. It says, I don't need a Valentine, I need a nap, which is a decal that I got from Creative Fabrica. That is also linked down in the description box. You can sign up for only a dollar for the first month. But anywho, we can go ahead and get into this tutorial on how I made this three-toned with some vinyl, you know, tumbler. So, okay, let's go ahead and get into it. Alrighty, so as always, we are not going to skip out on our prepping. We prepped it already with our sandpaper and our um, uh, barkeeper's friend. And now I'm going to spray paint it um, metallic gold and um, mint. So, actually, I changed my mind in this video. And you guys will see me <laughs> change my mind and go back and do some more spray painting so it's a good learning experience because i had a vision in my mind of what i wanted this cup to look like but then it didn't turn out that way as i was making it so um <laughs> you guys will get a chance to see my uh-oh and my boo-boo and um but i went back and i fixed it so um the bottom color is a mint i couldn't find any other mint um colored spray paint um i think it's probably krylon and it's like one of those small mini ones that i got from michael's um but it matches the mint colored glitter perfectly um and then the metallic gold one that i used um is from um, rustoleum two time um, which is what spray paint i prefer um, so I'm going to go ahead and spray paint this the ombre color and let it dry for about two hours since it's a little chillier outside um, Alrighty, so um, Now that I've spray painted it my two colors just kind of going back and forth getting that ombre look that you're looking for um, We're going to measure our tumbler as always um, this is about eight inches long um, therefore we know where to make our um, our marks so this is going to be um, like three um, different designs, like a vinyl and then two different glitters. So um, I wanted the glitter parts to be uh, three inches. So as you can see, I'm marking off three inches at the bottom. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the top. And I'm gonna mark off the three inches um, for my mint colored glitter. I'm kind <clears> of, <throat> excuse me, just cheating a little bit here. Um, I just went ahead and spray painted the entire thing. Um, therefore, I didn't have to like mark off um, three inches of the cup and then paint that or spray paint that and then do the same thing for the bottom. I just spray painted the entire thing just to make it easy. The vinyl is going to lay on top of that spray paint. So, anywho, so again, you're going to see my uh oh here. Um, I uh, originally had cut this already, but I cut it the wrong way. The hearts were going the wrong way. <laughs> um, <laughs> I cracked myself up. So I had to go back again and cut it the right way. So where the hearts were, you know, um, horizontal and not vertical. So I cut this two inches because I already did three inches for the gold and three inches for the mint. So I was left with two inches for my vinyl strip. So um, I went ahead and cut that out two inches uh, wide and I'm gonna lay it right in between those two permanent marker lines and just go ahead and run it across. So I kinda estimated it to be exact um, as far as the um, circumference around it, but I still had a little bit to trim off. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my craft knife and I'm going to trim down the um, 
down that excess. I'm horrible at cutting straight lines. Um, even with, yeah, I'm just horrible at cutting straight lines. So I have to do it a couple of times. Um, so don't be like me. Don't be like Bob. Um, so now I <laughs> am going to, now that I'm finished laying down the vinyl, I'm going to go ahead and do my colors. So originally, again, I wanted it to be like pink and mint. But I hated the way this hot pink looked on this tumbler. So originally I wanted it to be rose gold. So that's why I did the gold spray paint. And then I was like, hmm, no, nope, I don't want rose gold. I'm going to do pink. Okay. So that's why the tumbler was, I spray painted it gold to begin with because I wanted it to be rose gold. So anyways, I'll just continue. So <laughs> I'm going to place my Mod Podge in a thin layer here. Um, not overlapping the vinyl. I'm just going to place it right there at that line and um, place the thin coat of my pot. All right, and after that, I went ahead and went in with my hot pink glitter. And immediately as I was laying this down, I'm like, this looks freaking ridiculous. Like, it had looked hideous. Like, look at that. So I just kept going just for the heck of it. But then afterwards, I was like, no, ma'am, mm -mm. no, ma'am, I can't show this off. So I went in and I wiped it off immediately while it was still wet. OK, so I just took a paper towel and I just wiped it completely off. So now since I wiped it off, I went ahead and taped off the, the rest of the tumbler so I can spray paint that white. Um, so I went outside and spray painted it white. Um, and so now I'm just going to take off my, um, um, what do you call this stuff? Clear plastic wrap and my painter's tape that I taped um, so the rest of the tumbler would not get um, paint on it. Um, I always recommend using a, um, um, a non-gloss white uh, because the white will turn like a yellowish color underneath. So just... Um, keep that in mind when you're doing white um, spray paint all right so when I'm all done with taking that off now I'm going to go in with my white glitter this just looks so much more refreshing to me um, I just yeah that pink just wasn't gonna work so we're gonna start over so there was my boo-boo guys my second one because my first one was with the vinyl and then um, now it was with the pink so as long as your Mod Podge is still wet you can wipe off your glitter in your Mod Podge and start over so that's what we're doing here and I'm just gonna lay a thin layer of the Mod Podge here to where we can go ahead and place our white glitter So this glitter is Allure from Glitterful. Um, the discount code is linked below for you guys. This is um, like an iridescent um, white or like opal, as you, I guess you can call it, um, which is really, really, really pretty. I really love this um, opal glitter. So once you are finished, um, immediately you can go in with your little brush and get off the excess glitter that fell on your vinyl. Um, so when we go to seal it, you won't have any glitter on that little strip of vinyl. Tap, 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 get everything off. And then once your Mod Podge also dries, you can go in again and brush off the excess um, glitter. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go in e right after, um, since it's not right on that white, and that white is still wet, I can go in and do the um, the mint side. I didn't wait, um, I just put my glitter back in the jar, cleaned up a little bit, and then I'm just going straight in with the mint.
All right, now I'm gonna go in with my mint glitter. This glitter is from Michaels. Um, I don't have a discount code for that, but Michaels always has <laughs> a deal, like 20% off coupon that you can get online. So you can stock up on some nice glitters at Michaels if, um, you know, Michaels is just close to you and convenient. You know, you don't wanna order something online. Um, and you're just one of those people who just always want to look before you buy. So Michaels always have great um, coupons online too. Um, so I am going to go ahead and give this all I got here on the glitter. Um, again, I'm going to um, wipe off the excess amount that's on the vinyl with my brush. And I'm going to tap off the excess. Um, and I'm going to let this hang out for um my pod usually doesn't take long to dry so i'm just gonna let it hang out for about an hour and then after that hour i'm going to spray seal this um, i'm going to spray seal it with rust-oleum's two-time clear gloss sealer three times um therefore when we go to epoxy this the glitters do not mix and mingle with each other um, it'll stay put where it is. So you always want to make sure to seal your cups if you have more than one type of glitter on your tumbler. All right, and then after that, I epoxy this twice, um, each layer letting it dry about four to six hours in between. And then here we are. I did already go ahead and sand this. Again, you guys see me do that before. Um, I placed the two coats of epoxy, let the second coat dry for 12 hours, and then I sanded it just to make sure there wasn't any rough spots, and I sanded the rim. So now I'm going to go ahead and place my vinyl strips. This is a textured silver um, vinyl that is just from Cricut, and I cut these about point um, 0.1, I believe, point 0.1 or point 0.12. I didn't want anything too thick um, to cover the... Um, the lines there or to cover the areas with the line um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take my two strips and wrap those completely around the tumbler making sure that it is even with the other side take your craft knife and then you're going to trim off that excess amount there and move on to your next line And again, the size for this, um, I believe I cut about nine and a half for the circumference. And because it's going to change every time you add a layer of epoxy on your cup, your circumference is going to change. So I did it about nine and a half to point one or point one two as far as the, um, the width of it. So again, I got my decal from Creative Fabrica. Um, I thought it was so cute because not everybody has a valentine. So um, I don't know about y'all, but I'm always in need of a nap. So I thought it was just cute and perfect. I was going to choose like something cheesy like we were meant to be, but no, I need a nap. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, lay my uh, contact paper over my decal and give it a good um, burnishing and we're gonna lay this right on the tumbler. Again, make sure you measure the um, top part, the white part of the tumbler to make sure your decal uh, will fit. All right, so choose your right spot that you wanted it to be. And as you can see, I lined it up with that blue line at the top and then I slid it down like I always do. Um, this time I'm not going to do the hinge method. Um, I'm just going to, it was pretty easy, pretty simple for this one. No need to do that. And now we're gonna go ahead and place our final coats of epoxy on this. And yeah, that was pretty much it for this video. So here is the final result that you saw in the beginning. Thank you guys so much for staying to the end of this video. As always, please give it a thumbs up and comment if you really like the decal. I don't know. 
Um, and again, check out our website for new vinyl that has hit the website. You guys will really love the new designs. Alrighty, so thank you guys again, and we will see you next week. Thank you.